All right, so we're going to do a lifting comparison here. And the very first one is here. a 3,350-pound 3, weight. That's called an excavator 350 bucket. It's laying here right by the tires of this trailer. It weighs 3,350 pounds. Everybody's got the exact same pallet forks on. We're going to see how they lift, try to put it up on this trailer. So we got Aaron in the Bobcat. He's going to go ahead and hoist this bucket up. All right, maybe he's not going to hoist it up here. We've got more bucket than we've got skid steer in this case. 3,350 pounds, the Bobcat does not have the stability to lift that 3,350 pound weight up. All right, we'll bring the Cat 236D up. We got Randy in the Cat, and of course you notice this is a radio lift. Bobcat, or excuse me, Caterpillar dropped their 232 out of model out of the lineup with the D series. They also dropped their 252, so they kind of preened or downsized their line with those two models. And most people would say, hey, radio lifts, number one, would be at a big disadvantage, and this one just does not have the stability at all. Randy, see if you can get a little tighter on that bucket with your forks. It's just trailer tires. Just push into them. Kind of surprising, Larry. I would have thought that machine would do it. At least get it up off the ground from the bottom, you know? None it's, of these machines struggles. got counterweights. We do know how one, Larry. 218. All right, Ryan's going to come in with the 218, L218 New Holland. Now, unlike the other models, this New Holland just doesn't have any hydraulic power at all. It can't pick up its back end. It can't pick up this bucket. It's a dog. <laughs> Tomorrow, you can try it out on the ride drive course. This is the weakest lifter of all the models out here, and we'll show you the results here in a little bit. Okay, the John Deere 318. This our brand new 318E. Watch this thing, man. It's an animal. Look at that, huh? But well, he may say that machine's going to be a real seller for us. How many of you sell counterweights with your skid steers? Do you need them? <laughs> Tell you what, I've always been a firm believer you don't need counterweights. Make your customer prove to themselves that they need counterweights. They'll go to a competitor and say, well, he's got counterweights. You've got to put counterweights on yours. Well, we don't need counterweights. We did it on the D-Series. And we even need them less with the E-Series. You say, well, why do you mean less with the E-Series? Because the E-Series gained about 400 pounds in weight. And to keep the good John Deere balance, we moved the axle back about another inch and a half. We outlift our competition, and we by far have more stability than any of our competitors out there without counterweights. <laughs> 